This one that Mr. Filippo has refused to pick your call. Should we not go to him? What are you saying? Go to him and tell him what? With this pain? Oh no. I doubt if he's going to ever want to give me the contract again. Miss Ita, please. Please. Don't always confess negative. White's a spirit. I mean, besides, we all go to challenges in life. I'm very sure that Mr. Philip will understand your pledge. There may even be a different um, reason why Mr. Filippo is not picking your call. Yes. But I am certain he will not want to give the contract to another person. I doubt. Sincerely, I doubt. Man. My inner spirit is telling me something totally different. I don't think Mr. Filippo would want to give me that contract again. I don't think so. Well, I know you girls are looking out for me. I'm not trying to say otherwise, but I'm just speaking my mind. Well, Miss Zita, if that becomes the case, that means I'm sorry, but that contract wasn't meant for you. Then I will not survive. If I lose that contract, I will not survive it. No. I will not survive it. <laughs> Miss Zita, money is a lousy visitor. You cannot harm yourself because of it. No. You can't. After making out and telling my friends and competitors that I'm going to sign a big contract to be a, to be the sole representative of Beauty Elizabeth in Africa. And now I'm going to lose it. I'm going to so okay, not so Oh! But what you intend to do. <laughs> we all have enemies and you don't know who your enemies are. <laughs> the enemies, that's what. Oh, it's okay. Oh, it's okay. Oh, Everything will be fine. Yeah, it's 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 okay. The mere fact that she's already thinking towards that direction means she will start discussing it with those her lousy friends. I have no hand in whatever it says that she's facing. You don't need to tell me, for you know that I know. That's too much talking of my sister. Be calling me out on the internet, and that will make me arrest her and lock her for long. You don't need to wait for her to call you out and then resort to damage control. No. What you have to do is to make a case against her. At least she threatened your life. The police will get her arrested, and then she can't do anything. And the news will be all over the internet that I'm having issues with my sister. Listen, Tracy, I do not want to be negatively associated with my sister on the news. Now, nah, that's not me. So what do you want to do? Fold your hands and watch her destroy your image? Tracy, I'm trying to think. It's okay. I need to think. Get things ready for the next advert. Stop it! What is wrong with you? I need to go get that contract! But you cannot go like this, please. What do you mean I can't go like this? It is 1.30 already and I should be there to sign that contract. Miss Zeta, are you sure you want to do this? I know exactly what I'm doing. Out of my way, please. now! Tell her to leave! I know what I'm doing! Please, just like Anne said, you can't go there with this thing on your yes. neck. Please, says who? I've been calling Mr. Filippo and he has refused to pick my calls. I need to go there myself and grab my international deal out of my way now! Um, mm. 
Mr. Filippo that we all know, you know, will not accept yes. your endorsement with this on your neck. Why? Why would you accept it? What are you saying? Miss Zita, see, you are in pain. Oh, goodness. Send an SMS to Mr. Filippo. Let him know your health condition. Let him know you won't be able to make it today. Oh, good. Mr. Filippo is civilized enough to understand what health condition means. He, I am sure, he will reschedule. Yes. I love it. Love it. You seem not to understand what I'm talking about. I am talking about an international brand. A lot of people are praying to have this opportunity, but here it is. And you're telling me not to go get it? He is a businessman, and a white man for that matter. If I do not go there now, he's going to give it to someone. He's going to give it to someone else, and I cannot bear that. Tell her to get out of my way. Please, get out. Sir, please, 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 This wouldn't have happened if you had listened to me. See the way you look. No one would want to do business with a sick person. Can you at least shut up if you have nothing to say? What do you call a sick person? Has she not been in pain since morning she woke up? Is that not what being sick means? Huh? See, we just lost this huge contract because she showed her face there. Oh, please keep quiet already. Keep quiet, love it. What is wrong with you? I just lost a continental contract. What, two million British pounds? And here you are spewing nonsense with your mouth. Are you trying to make things worse or better? Please. I understand how you feel. Oh no, you don't. Well, you just have to take it easy on yourself. Your health is of paramount importance than all the contracts in the world. That's exactly what I meant. No. You don't understand how I feel. No, you don't. You don't understand it. I promised my parents a new house when I signed this contract. I also promised myself a vacation to Miami because I really worked hard and I deserve a good life. I pursued this contract for straight two years. Two solid years and now the contract is here just for me to sign it and one stupid pain in the neck gonna cost me the contract. I mean, how do you want me to feel? Tell me! How? Oh. Oh. But I really don't understand. This is so silly. Honestly. It's so silly on the part. How could they deny you the contract? Because of this. This pain will be over soon, and then you can start working on the contract. That's exactly what I meant. This would have been possible if she had listened to my suggestions. She shouldn't have been there. Oh, you shut up! Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Shut up! Shut up! What do you know? What is wrong with you? Are you trying to make me more mad than I already am? What is your problem? Don't you have conscience? Don't you understand how I'm feeling already? I've lost the contract. I don't need you to talk about it no more, love it. I don't need you to lament more about this. Oh yes, I've lost it. I've lost my, my international deal. Do not make it, you Please. animal! Please, please, you need to calm down. You know? How can I possibly calm down? You know how much, how many times I, I prayed. I wanted this contract. I pursued this please, contract. Please, please, please. Okay, you, please. you. Uh, 
Please calm down, please. Miss Lisa. You know what? You know that you should be objective with the way you talk at times. It's not good for a lady. And you know you need to be straightforward with the way you talk at times. It is not good for business. Yes. Briefly update me on the situation of things in that house. You know that's good news, right? Spare me that tells. Zita has always been very pathetic. Listen up. I want you to keep your ears to the ground. Update me on every damn thing going on around her. I am that lady crackers of the city of light. Money to pay the hard-working bitch is never my problem. You are a bitch love it. And that's why you do the kind of things that you do. Do not even try to play that sanctimonious card with me for it doesn't go down well with me. You are a bitch working for her money. And in my history, I do not owe bitches because I know what bitches are capable of doing. That's my bitch talking. Let me know everything going on in that house and every move she makes. You will not regret it. Bounce. The one and only Lady Gaga of the City of Light. That's me, girl. That's you. The only lady who decides and controls the fates of both men and women in this city. Tell me about it. That's you again. Mm -hmm. The only Lady Gaga. The woman of power and affluence. Mm -hmm. Ah! Mama, you too much. <laughs> Tell you. Now you again. My boss. I run this goddamn city. Mama. I am the light in this city of lights. I call the shots. Anybody that disagrees with me will be run out of this town. Mm -hmm. They need to know. <laughs> I remember somebody I showed <laughs> um, What was his name again? Is that Romeo? That was his name. Ooh, Romeo. Romeo! Oh, Romeo! <laughs> I dealt with him. He wanted to prove to me that he is the son of a prominent politician. And guess what I did? <laughs> I silenced him. I sent him six foot below the ground. And now he's dead. <laughs> I still feel sorry for that guy. Me too. He was first struck with madness, then later run over by a car. Ha! Mama, we pleaded with you. But no, you listen to no one. Baby girl, I am a supernatural mermaid. I only listen to myself. I still remember him.
Hello, beautiful. Hello. Why are you standing under the sun? Huh? A beautiful girl like you is not supposed to be under the sun. <laughs> come on. We are Africans and we're used to the sun. Oh, come on. Why don't you just hop in? Let me give you a ride to whatever place you're going to. Just come on. I'm not going to bite you. Right? <laughs> Has anybody told you that you are very beautiful? <laughs> are you indirectly trying to tell me that I'm beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> so, what is your beautiful name? My name is Nikki. Nikki. That's the beautiful name for a damsel like you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not a damsel, I'm a lady. Oh, my bad. Forgive me. Okay. Okay. Um. By the way, my my name is Junior. Romeo Donat Junior. Romeo Donat. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Are you in any way related to the chairman of the ruling party? Oh. Romeo Donat. <laughs> you know my dad. Wow. That's so yeah. nice. Oh, but what do you be a same name with your dad? Um. I would say my family. Uh, the reason is best known to them decided to name me after my dad. So I would say it's, yeah. <laughs> Okay, it's fine. Uh, but my my street is just there. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much. It is nice meeting you. It's okay. <laughs> thank you. so much for the ride. <laughs> I sincerely appreciate it. You are welcome. I have to be sure that I bring you home safely. And who told you it's not safe out there? Come on, this is Niger. Where there is insecurity everywhere. Hmm. Talking of insecurity, why do you drive around town alone without security? Hold on. Is your dad aware that you drive around town alone? <laughs> oh, come on. I am a man, I'm not that this boy. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Even at that. It's not safe to be driving around town alone. It's risky. Considering your status. <laughs> not you too. Come on. <laughs> That's my boss. Please, can oh, you move your I car? I would like to say hi to her. Yeah. Uh, it. Who the hell are you and what are you doing in my compound? I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll just move. I don't need your stupid apology. What I need is a response. Why the hell are you packed here? Please slow it down, my lady. Shut up. Is this how you talk to people? Did you just talk to me in that manner? Of course I am talking to you. And who are you in this town? to be talking to me like that. I am Lady Gaga, the dreaded mermaid of the City of Light. Who the fuck are you? I am not just anyone. And you need to know that. Oh, really? You know I can put you on a run in this town. Is that so? <coughs> Stupid idiot. You brought him? to my compound to insult me and you stand there nopping at me like a fool. Is, is this how you treat people? Huh? What is wrong with Are you? Are you talking to me with that tone? Of course I'm talking to you. Get out now. If I don't talk. That's how I treat people. Get out. This minute or you will not like what will come to you. I will have you detained so fast you will wonder how it happened. Detain? You're gonna detain me? Yeah. <laughs> she said she's gonna detain me. I'm going to give you a run in this town. Get out with your mouth other. Okay. Mama. 
my leg. Get out! Shut up! Do you want to slap too? I no. can hear you. No. I seriously need to work on your temperament. I mean, the way you go about creating unpleasant attention to yourself and creating enemies out there is a no for me. For crying out loud, that guy gave Nikki a happy hand. He doesn't deserve what you did to him. That's unfair. Tacha, I'm still in shock. I'm still in shock. My lady, the way you slapped me out there, I'm not cool with it at all. For crying out loud, that guy is the son of the chairman of the ruling party. What? Yes. He saw me standing under the scorchy sun. And he gave me a lift home. That was what happened. Wait a minute. That's actually the son of Romeo Donald? Exactly. Oh my. My, oh my. <gasps> so he's the son of a popular politician. So bloody what? Hmm? <clears throat> Nikki, tell me something. You mean the son of a prominent politician was slapped by a lady and he drove away without retaliating? Ah, he's such a humble guy. So cool and handsome too. Oh. Mm. Now you listen to me. Don't you ever bring rascals to my gate again. Try it next time, and what you receive will be much bigger than what happened out there. You understand? Very well, ma. Yeah, I'm around now. Yes, I'm, I'm by my father's plaza. Hey, yeah, yeah, if you come around, you'll see me. Okay, remember to bring those stuff. Come on, man. I told you in the morning. What are you saying? <laughs> okay, okay. Um, let me call you back. Hello, stupid. Why are you laying on my car? This car costs a lot of money. Do you have the money to buy this car that you're leaning on with your debt itself? And what can you make of it? Hmm? I can make a dirty slap from it. A very dirty. Are you mad? Huh? Shit. I can see that you're raving mad. There's something wrong with you. How can you go about slapping men? Is that what you do? Huh? So how do you feel now? How would you do that? Oh, come on. How can you make something like this your boss? Can't you say that she's mannerless? Next time you don't go about slapping men. Excuse me. I hope you know what you've done. No, it's okay. It's okay. The bastard is unaware that he just signed his death warrant. Change my mind. Know this and no peace. <laughs> my lady, 
please. I beg you in the name of anything you hold secret. Please forgive me now, please. I won't. Lady Gaga does not forgive. Forgiveness is for weaklings. That boy will fill my rocks because I have sworn to match him power for power, money for money. Mm -hmm. My lady, please. That guy doesn't deserve to die. Yes, you, you have wasted so many. Please don't add him to the list, please. Romeo, Donald Jr. is the only son of Romeo Donald. Yes, he deserves to live for his dad, mom, and siblings. Please don't kill him. If not for anything, remember the state government on, under his father as ruling party chairman gave you a contract worth millions, which you executed two months ago. Do not pay that for evil. Girl, Girl shut up! What do you know? What do you know? That contract that you're talking about, I paid for it with my body. You did what? You heard me. Oh, what? You thought I got it on the platter? I had to sleep with the governor many times before he approved that contract to me. Okay, fine. If not for anything, please. Forgive me for bringing me home that hot what afternoon. I beg you in the name of God. My lady, please. I won't. Hey! And if it helps, sometimes when you talk, you know what I hear? <laughs> my lady, please now. My lady, please. <laughs> my lady, please forgive me now. Please. Hey! <laughs> Let me beg her now. <laughs> hey! See this fine boy has just run mad. Hi! Hi! What is your voice? Do we never stop? Hey! Jesus. 